Hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this week's video we're going to be doing some really easy Christmas DIYs and they're all from Poundland so they are super affordable really easy to create and hopefully all of you guys can get hold of these things in your local Poundland so the first thing is I grabbed these 10 by 15 centimeter frames they come in a two pack I really liked the wood color I believe there was white and black available as well I took some of these garland ties that I also picked up from Poundland and just hot glued them directly onto the back of the frame you can fill this with lots of other things as well I do another one in a second which I'll obviously show you but once I had glued those on I just clipped that back into the frame and then using a white paint pen this is a Posca paint pen I'll leave the link down in the description box I always buy them on eBay and they're really really good to use in any kind of art and crafty scenario they're very good here I'm just taking my next frame and I decided to fill this one with feathers which I also picked up from Poundland. And then to give it a little extra pizzazz because you know it's Christmas, I used some glitter. After putting this into the frame I used another paint pen which again is a Posca paint pen but this time in black and then just wrote another little Christmassy quote or Christmassy words on there. The other good thing with using this is that you can wipe it off and replace it with any other words you like. It's reusable. We like a good reusable DIY. <laughs> For my next DIY I picked up these two, I think they're pizza pans, they were obviously a pound each from Poundland and I'm also going to be taking a rolling pin. I picked up a couple of these because these are always really useful. You can do so much with these because they're kind of untreated wood. But you just want to cut off the end and then cut about a third of the way down. So then you should end up with three pieces and we'll be just using the top and middle piece and then the little tiny bit at the end we're not gonna be using. I also picked up some chalk paint in the Poundland. I hadn't used this one before so I thought I would give it a go. I really like chalk paint because it kind of flakes off and I like that farmhousey shabby chicy vibe. If you don't want this to kind of flake off then I would definitely prime it first or maybe varnish it after you have sprayed it. And then taking the larger piece of the rolling pin I'm going to be hot gluing that into the centre. Then I'm going to be doing the same thing with the top piece. It's a bit difficult for me to show you. So again, I'm just taking a ruler and just marking where the middle is, putting a load of hot glue down onto the rolling pin and then sticking that on top. If you want this to be more kind of um, robust and last a little bit longer, maybe use some super glue or some Gorilla Glue or something that's going to hold a bit longer. But as I'm just using this for the Christmas time, hot glue for me was fine. Then I'm going to take some more of these garland ties. They do come in a pack of 10. I can't remember if I said that or not. Um, but they are so useful. You can use these for so many different things. And they're on a bendable wire. Obviously because they're garland ties. But they're just really handy. So definitely pick some up if you see some. Then I'm going to take my hot glue and go all the way around the edge of the pan. And then stick these garland ties on top. So I do this along the top section. And I also do this at the bottom section. I put some at the bottom of where we stuck the pan onto the rolling pin just to try and hide where the kind of glue had come out a little bit. It didn't really work but you know we try to hide our mistakes or ugly things in DIYs. It would also look really nice if you stuck on some little red berries around or some pine cones and just make it look a little bit more Christmassy. But then it's up to you how you want to style this. You can have it as a centerpiece on a table or you can have it in the corner of your living room with some pretty things on. It's completely up to you. The last DIY is going to be with this little chopping board. It's really cute. It's just a little bit bigger than my hand and I decided that I wanted to make this white. So I already had some spray paint at home but you could paint this white or if you've got some white chalk paint you could do that or even staining this would look really nice. I wish I would have done another one. I might buy another one actually and stain it. I think it would look really nice. Then I'm just taking my paint pen again and just doing like a little Christmassy words on here it was actually a poster that I found on Pinterest so I'm just kind of copying that from Pinterest but like I say if I would have stained this a nice darker wood color then I would have used my white paint pen and I think it would look really nice and really Christmassy 
I decided to make two videos so in this video we're going to be seeing these three DIYs and then in my next video I've got another three DIYs I just thought it'd be better to have two shorter videos rather than one long video but I'm definitely going back to Poundland picking up another one of these boards and staining it in the wood color and then writing in my white paint pen so if you guys have picked up anything from Poundland for Christmas, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure that I pick up whatever you suggest as well. So after creating all of these tiny little lines, which took forever, but I think it gives a really nice vibe, it was finally finished. And I think it's going to look really cute. Maybe not in my kitchen because I have white wood backsplash in my kitchen, but you see against like my normal table, it looks really cute. But that was it for my DIY Christmas from Poundland Ideas. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.